What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, we got very fun eyes and a very fun lip. We're using a new Sugar Pill liquid lipstick for this look today. But for the eyes, we're going to be playing with a new palette that launched before Christmas, but it's technically like the spring launch. So technically, I'm still in the loop and I'm still in the right timeline for this release of this palette. So today, we're going to be playing with the TARDIS Pro Remix Eyeshadow Palette for this fun eye look that I did today. Now this one is mostly a glitter and like a metallic palette. There's three mattes in here, which I wish there was a little bit more. But honestly, we have all these shadows here today. So I'm gonna be playing with them today, giving you the real tea on them, what I think of the products, etc. And of course, giving you guys my final thoughts on it and doing this fun look for you guys. So if you'd like to see how I did this eyeshadow look, then keep on watching. So, I zoomed you guys in nice and close. We have nothing on the face. I'm going to put on some painterly paint pot, as always, just to kind of get ready for this eye look. Before we go in with the Tarte Pro palette, which I know is like the start of the video, I am going to be going in with the Violet Voss Berry Burst Fun Size palette because this one has a few of the matte shades that I'm looking to do for this look. The Tarte palette only has three mattes, one of them being cream, one of them being like a taupe color, one of them being black. So not about that. I want to go in with something a little bit warmer for this look. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here to start the crease. the crease I really want to go in with like a berry kind of vibes look because I might be using the berry shade and like the purple shade in the Tarte palette so I'm gonna go in with this berry shade right here <laughs> Of course, to get started with the rest of this look, I'm going to go in with the TARDIS Pro Remix Eyeshadow Palette. And you open it up, and you're going to have all the shadows inside of here, which most of them are going to be glitters or shimmers. So they're very metallic or very glittery. So I swatched a few to try to figure out which look I want to go for. But I think I'm going to go in with the shade Graffiti, which is like the red shade. <laughs> Decided, I think I want to go in with like a nice fun halo eye kind of effect and it'd be very glittery and popping so for the outside and the inside I'm going to use like a nice Morphe M503 brush and I'm going to use this shade graphic which is like a nice like blackish purple sparkly shade <laughs> So I just connected the two together because I really wanted to see how it would look and not gonna lie, kind of living for this look and honestly, little to no fallout. So okay, Tarte fixing their metallic game because honestly before, all of their metallic shadows were just fucking like terrible. They either they would be a little bit too like clumpy or I would have to build them up or I have to use a wet brush or I'd use my finger, whatever. This one is using nicely on a dry brush and I'm like, okay, okay, Tarte, let's see you do the damn thing. Now I'm just readjusting the shadows to, of course, make that burgundy, reddish, metallic shade just pop more again. So the eyes are done for now. We are going to go throw on some concealer, foundation, and some powder. And I'll be right back to finish off the eye with you guys. 
now we got the base concealer and a powder on it is time to go back in for the eye look and of course do the lower lash line i'm going to go back in with the violet voss berry burst palette and use that shade again for the lower lash line before going in with my pop of color a dry brush I'm going to be using the Morphe M408 brush and I'm going to use this for the shade mashup let's hope that this one goes out with some pigment as well as the other ones have been doing now just a tiny touch of the graphic shade again I'm going to use that on the outer corner just to kind of tie everything together. I'm going to be using the shade Outside the Lines, which is like this nice gold for the inner corner. And I'm going to use the shade Moon Lit for my brow bone highlight. So now I'm going to go throw on some mascara, some lashes, and some brows, and I'll be back to finish off the face with you guys. Now that the eyes are done, it is looking really good if I do say so myself. I'm now going to finish off this face with you guys because I feel like this video would be way too freaking short if I just cut it right now. I'm going to go in with a MAC Sweet Enough Mineralized Blush for blush. Now for some bronzer for some contour, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Powder Bronzer in the shade Rich Amber, which I know is a little bit too dark for me, but you know what? It's kind of like my contour, so... For a highlight, I'm going to go in with the Ofra Beverly Hills Highlighter. Now, for a lip color, I was thinking about going with nude, but I was like, I do so many nudes, and I, this is a remixed, bold kind of look, so let's go with the bold lip and go with the Sugar Pill High Jinx Liquid Lip Color. Here it is. This is the final look using some of these new products, especially the TARDIS Pro Remix palette. Um, pretty much the only new products that are in here is this, the Violet Voss palette and the Hijinx liquid lipstick. But I'm really excited about this liquid lipstick too because honestly, the best part about it is that if you like rub it, you're going to get more glitter, which is always what Sugar Pill is about with their liquid lipsticks. So it looks stunning. Let me show you guys some swatches really quick. We have the shade Spin. Inspiration, Art Deco, Artist, Color Explosion, Wall Art, Flow, DIY, Ink, Beat Drop, Mixed Media, Splatter, Outside the Lines, Mic Drop, Graphic, Graffiti, Moonlit, Mashup, Sway, and Create. Anyways, so really quickly, I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts on the TARDIS Pro Remix palette since technically this was like a first impression review on it. Now, this retails for $49. Do I feel like the formulation is good? Yes. I feel like the formulation for these metallic shadows and these like glittery shadows are actually much better than they used to be when it comes to Tarte. Tarte has made some glitter and some metallic and some like pigment kind of shadows before and for me they always were more lackluster they always fell flat for me either they were too chunky or they had too much fallout or they didn't stick really nicely with like a dry brush I feel like the look that I came up with today actually looks really stunning and I'm proud of it because honestly like I said new year I want to be proud of every single look that I do but here is the two cons actually that I have for this palette. I really would like to have seen more mattes. Now I know it's supposed to be a remix palette, it's supposed to be glittery, it's supposed to be metallic, it's supposed to be fun, but you really don't have very many shades to work with like for your crease. You have a one really light shade, one medium shade, and then a black. 
that's it. I feel like you should have had a black, you should have had like a warm and a cool tone, like crease color for multiple skin tones, by the way. Honestly, they could have just made more to add more punch and more pop to it because I don't mind using another palette but I like to have one palette for one look if that makes sense. The second peeve that I'm having right now with this palette is because I did this in store. I saw it in store. Someone peeled back the sticker that it has right here and if you peel it back you see the names of the original shade names in the original TARDIS Pro palette. I'm all for recycling product and packaging, but to just slap a sticker on it and put some new shades in it, I feel like that's not, I feel like it's almost half ass. And I mean, honestly, I know that if they had leftover packaging for the other one, then you could just slap a sticker on this and call it a new palette and put some new shades in here. I get that. I feel like they could have at least made like a nice like plating over it and then just pop that over it instead of it being a sticker. I do think it's not bad. I definitely will have to say that I'm very 50-50 about this as well because I feel like the shadows blended nicely and I really do like the way that my look came out. But these shadows you could definitely find somewhere else too. Maybe for a more affordable price. We are now in 2019 where I feel like eyeshadow palettes are very oversaturated as of 2018. So I really hope that we can get more oomph and more bang for our buck this year for our shadow palettes. I definitely feel like it was a nice palette but there just was a few things that I wish I would have seen more of with it. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the very near future. Love you. Bye.